think I have been articulating myself very well about this, but yeah. Hey everyone, it's Aradna. Welcome back to another episode of Off Tangent Thoughts. For those of you who are new here, Off Tangent Thoughts is a meme created by Charby at Not Just Fiction. It is a meme where she prompts bookish things for us to respond to. Most people do blog posts because, you know, lists of, of all the things that she's prompted. I tend to go rambling off tangent and so videos where I go off tangent on off tangent thoughts. This month's second prompt was the thoughts you have when you are crushing on a character. Now it has been a good many years since I've had what you could call a crush on a character. Are there characters that I adore? Yes. Are there characters I want to wrap in a blanket and protect from the world? Yes. Are there characters I want to punch in the face? Definitely. But, you know, crushing on characters, no, not so much. There are certain criteria for characters I adore. I do have types. I like characters that are optimistic despite their trauma. I love the Steve Rogers Scott McCall archetype. Um, I love characters that are generally hated by fandoms especially if they're characters of color in TV shows and movies, I will probably just be like, yeah, okay, you can have them, they're mine now. And characters that are dumped on for no reason, whether in the media they're in or by the fandom again, yeah, you can't have them, they're mine now. But for this, since I do not have characters that I crush on. I thought I'd make a list of characters that I really loved this year so far. Now, I've read a total of 17 books so far in 2019. I know to a lot of people that's not a lot of books, but for me, it is. I am doing really well as a reading year. Touch wood. And I'm hoping to keep this momentum going so that by the end of the year I've read at least about 20 books. Considering the fact that the last time I put my Goodreads aim at 20, I did not hit it. That would be a big deal for me. But yeah, okay, so far this year characters that I have really loved. Hasina from Descendant of the Crane. I'm not sure I am pronouncing the name right because when I see the word I think of the Indian name Hasina but you know she's supposed to be Chinese so I think it's slightly different but yeah I cannot figure out how to pronounce it. I adore her. I think she deserves the world. I would die for her. I would kill for her. She is amazing and I know the author's She's far from the author's favorite character, but I love her. Joan, if you don't like her, you can give her to me. I love her. I also really, really enjoyed Sanjing's character from Descendant of the Korean. He is my one of my favorite archetypes, the, the brooding, silent, angry character who's actually got a reason to be angry, A, B, got a lot of layers so yeah he's not unnecessarily rude to people so you know brooding characters can be great if they're not complete a-holes to everybody for no reason and then there is from from Mirage Amani she was strong and fierce and scared, yes, but brave ultimately at the end of the day. I adored her. I want to give her the world. I want her to just be happy. There is 
Amari from Children of Bloody Bone. Again, adore her. Scared and yet still so brave. I love characters who are brave even though they are completely terrified, whether for themselves or for their families. That echoed that bravery is not the absence of fear, but doing something in spite of it. Those are the type of characters that I love, the ones that embody that poet. So Amari from Children of Blood of Bowen, Amani from Mirage, Mir from Empire Sand. My god, she was... There's just something about Mir that spoke to me. The lengths she would go to to, to protect the people she loves, the, the fact that her world was crumbling around her and yet she's just continuing on. She's an inspiration in a way. <laughs> and then Amun from Empire of Sand my god, characters with that much angst in the background and who are still good in spite of it. Just, uh, I love him, I love Mare, I love them together. I just want them to be happy. Like, oh my god, okay, maybe I do have fictional crushes. Not exactly the I want to be their girlfriend type of thing, but more, I would die for them, I love them, I would do anything for them, I just want them to be happy kind of thing. And then I finished the Oromir Chronicles this year, all three books. I did not expect to love Bleak as much as I did when I started the novel. At the beginning of the novel I was like, Okay, she's kind of annoying. I see where she's coming from, but she's a little bit annoying. By the end of the third book, I am like, Hi. Can I, like, be your friend? Can I adopt you? Okay, no, not so much adopt you. She has too much issues for me to want to adopt her. But can I be your friend? Can I hang out with you? She's just wow the amount of growth in all three over the course of the three books just bleak is just wow you guys wow and then finally i finished the good thieves um earlier in july and vita vita my love is the cutest she is smart and fierce and unafraid of what things could mean for her even when she's afraid of what it could mean it's I don't know how to explain Vita only that if my daughter grows up to be that type of of child because she's just she's so young and yet she's gripped with this need to do the right thing to do I am not half the person Vita is, I feel. Now she is a character I would love to adopt, except I would adopt her entire family because they all seem amazing. And yeah, this year has been a very good reading year for me. There have been a lot of characters that I've really enjoyed. And I really need to reevaluate the soul type of characters I like. Ultimately, I like good characters, characters that choose to be good, characters that are not a-holes for no reason. I mean, yeah, okay, they can be a-holes as a defense mechanism sometimes or in defense of someone. I get that. I am that. But characters that are good, that inspire me, those are my favorite type of characters and I love seeing them in books and somehow I find they're not characters that are main characters. I think people find them boring. But yeah. What are, who have been some of your favorite characters in 2019 so far? What are your types of favorite characters? Um, do you have a type of favorite character like I do? I do love a lot of characters. 
do not get me started on TV show characters. I will not stop. And yeah, so like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you enjoyed my content. And until next time, bye.